now. Lord, prepare me to be a sanctuary, pure and holy, tried and true, with thanksgiving, I'll be a living sanctuary. To be a sanctuary, pure and holy, tried and true, with thanksgiving, I'll be a living sanctuary for you. So we've been preparing. You know, everything was perfect, or at least as perfect as we are capable of humanly. And yet, we plan, and the Yiddish saying, God laughs. We're prepared, and sometimes that has to just be enough. Adonai, please open up righteous gates of holiness. Please take out any technical glitches that might get in the way. May the angels of Facebook and YouTube grant us good signals. And me, may you gift with this glorious virtual community, wherever we are, whoever we are. Lord prepare, me Lord, prepare me to be a sanctuary, be a sanctuary pure, and holy, pure and holy, tried and true, peacefully, with thanksgiving, I'll be a living sanctuary all day. Welcome, welcome, blessings everyone. Creator, thank you for this blessing, which we hope to find. Contentment like this, so seldom found, is blessed and burdened by no sound. O oh God, why must we die? You say that we are but little lower than the angels. Do angels fear? What do they sing when we are afraid? What do they sing when we are dying? Where do we go for comfort and courage when we face our greatest fear? When I walk through the valley of the shadows of death, there is no answer. But when we find the green meadows, the calm waters, the staff, the rod, the meal, the oil, the cup, then contentment like this, so seldom found, is blessed and burdened by no sound. Thank you for the blessing I received to recognize old bad habits and challenge myself to use new, learned, healthier ones. Change is difficult. The first step is to recognize what you need to do differently. Once you understand the need to embrace new ways to respond to a situation, a person, or even yourself, the hard part is not resorting back to old patterns. The blessing is the insight of having a new way to approach the challenges of life that is better for all. Creator, thank you for this blessing of living through this time. 
a really challenging time, but um, growth happens when there's discomfort, when there's some suffering, and um, it's challenged, I think, our family to strip away the things that are important and to really focus on each other and to focus on what's unfair in society. It's really brought to light certain things that come to light. And, um, and to be able to expand our compassion for, for people and to uh, be, more of help, be of more help. Absolutely. Um, I feel like any time I found myself uh, worried or frustrated or discouraged, I just went straight to gratitude. I'm grateful for my family, for our health, for um, the roof over our heads, and uh, that it's given me a chance to grow as a person and as a mother. And uh, how about you, Louie? What are you grateful for? Oh, oh for happy mom and daddy. Oh. Mm -hmm. Atta Adonai Eloheinu Melech Haolam. You bring us here. Baruch Ata Adonai. How do you want to bless me? Elohim Melech Haolam. Your presence fills creation. You keep us here. Shehechianu, you keep us alive. Ikiemanu, sustaining our life. Vehigianu, lazman haze, helping us reach this day. Shehechianu, you keep us alive. Ikiemanu, sustaining our life. We have a spoken word artist here who speaks, but we also have a spoken word artist who makes graphic art for us. Rick Lupert, are you in the house? I'm here, can you, can you hear me? I can hear you, and I cannot see you though. I've been spending some time invisible for tax reasons. For tax reasons, okay. Let's see if we can get you on the screen. There you are. Hi. I can almost hear you. So do you, I mean, do you have a, I know you have a poem for the new year that you were prepared to do. And, but we were not prepared for this techno glitch, right? So, you know, a poem about techno glitches, or do you want to just stick to your work kind of touch? Um, I do, but it doesn't have any nice words in it that would be family friendly. So, uh, may, right, maybe so we should. Shun a blessing then. <laughs> Um, thank you so much for having me, Craig. I know it's frustrating when, when uh, things go awry, uh, uh, but you're dealing with it beautifully and gracefully, and I'm really pleased and, and honored to be here as part of the Pico Union Project community. You know, we Jews have so many holidays, it's really hard to keep track of them. And uh, I, just the other day, I heard someone sneeze, and I thought, oh, my God, did we forget to light candles? Is it that time of year again? Um, and, you know, because... <laughs> Sounds a whole lot like um, like something that's on the the Hebrew calendar in early June, you know. So I thought it might be beneficial if I just wrote down some basic points about Rosh Hashanah to help clear up what uh, what this particular holiday is about. So this poem that I'm going to read for you, uh, and you came up with the title actually, Craig, as you may recall. I just wrote the rest of the words. Uh, is called the five things you must know about Rosh Hashanah. Here it is. One, this is only one of four Jewish New Year's. We also have one for trees, one for redemption from slavery, 
and one for cattle. So don't worry if you sleep through this one. Another one is bound to come along sooner or later. We Jews are always making backup plans. Two, apples can be red or green. Apples are sweet. If it weren't for apples, gravity would be a mystery. We'd still be stuck inside a garden somewhere wondering what to call the animals. We owe apples everything. So you can feel that gratitude. Dip an apple in honey. Taste it on your tongue. Three, let's move on to pomegranates, also red. If it's not red yet, be patient. Have you ever cracked a pomegranate open? You're going to want to lay down some plastic. It gets messy. You'll find seeds inside, one for every rule you forgot to follow. You've still got time. Yom Kippur is right around the corner. Put a pomegranate seed in your mouth and say you're sorry. Do this 613 times. Now you're getting it. Four, do you hear that sound? It's not a foghorn. It's not a train whistle. It's not a sign that dinner is on the way. It's a shofar. It comes from a ram. Don't let this sacrifice be in vain. You're going to hear this a lot over the next 10 days. Let it be a call to action. Don't forget what we said about the pomegranate seeds. Now's your chance. Five, kiss and hug everyone you know, or do that as soon as social distancing allows. It's the birthday of the world. This is your cake. Shana Tova. Oh, Rick, there's a sixth thing we need to know. It wouldn't be Rosh Hashanah without you in our lives. I'm grateful. I really am. You, you, uh, you just make it fun. You make it curious. And for that, uh, I'm grateful. I know that we're going to welcome your son, Jude, and Addie, your significant other. He's very significant later. But for right now, we're going to welcome to create holy ground here. Holy ground is not a uh, it's not concrete that makes holy ground. It is not uh, metal that makes holy ground. Holy ground is a product of soulful people. It is people that create holy ground. And this is a beautiful video by Adrian Hoffman, featuring dancers from all over the world who created their own holy ground. Every second, every minute, Every hour, every day, everything, everyone, every place, every way, where you walk, where you stand, where you love, where you praise, all of life is holy ground. Every he, every she, every what, every who, it's in her, it's in them. It's in me, it's in you In the bitter, in the sweet In the calm, in the storm All of life is holy ground So walk as if it's holy ground Breathe as if it's all around Talk and make Breathe as 
Baruch Hu is our call to worship. And I know you may be thinking, worship where? Well, right here. Right here in this empty space, right here on whatever screen you're watching on. This is our call to worship. And it's a funny thing about calls. Back when I was young, a long time ago, uh, you could get away with someone calling you and you saying, oh, I did get the message. I didn't get it. <laughs> there was the phone would just ring. And then they invented the answering machine. You could say, oh, I haven't checked my machine yet. But today, when someone calls you, they know you have your cell phone on you. They know you're screening those calls. Well, this is a call we also must answer. We got to be present. And I want to remind myself and all of us, this is not a TV show. This is not your Instagram account. This is not entertainment. This is our call to worship. This is the time, that limited time that we have to be written in the book of life. We're going to ask you to do some things that you don't normally do. We're going to ask you to stand in the room that you're in. We're going to ask you to hold hands. We're going to ask you to pray with us. We're going to ask you to sing with us and ask you to move to the music. We want you to participate fully. We want you to participate passionately. And we want you to participate authentically. Take this journey with us. Join us. Baruchu et Adonai ha-mevorah Baruchu et Adonai ha-mevorah If you are at home on a couch, stay on your couch. Get centered and listen. You need to do nothing else but listen. You don't need to lean in or lean out. You just need to be and to listen.
This is Adonai, our God, our God is one. This is real, Adonai. Our God is one. The sin is real. Adonai, our God is one. Shema Israel, Adonai. Adonai Echad We are one Our God is one This sin is real We are one ואהבת את אדוני אלוהיך בכל לבבך ובכל נפשך ובכל מדיך והיו אדוני השם אחד אלוהיך ותם אני זוכר את אחד אשר אתה אומר. We are uh, very fortunate to have one of my old friends who shares a birthday with me, Rabbi Brad Artson, April 3rd. Are you, are you with me? I'm I, with you, what, Fred. So how are you feeling? Wonderful. What a beautiful yeah. way to greet the day. It is. It is a gorgeous day. It's not so, not so smoky here, um, um, but it's good to have you. Thank you. Share something with us, please. Thank you. So, friends, we're about to be invited to do something audacious and crazy. The prayer Mika Mocha asks us to sing with the angels as though they are right with us and among us. And all of us bring angels into this day people who may not be with us physically, but they are alive in our hearts. And so, Mika Mocha, who is like you who can bring us all together in this way? Let's take a moment to have wonder, to have joy, to be the angels we truly are. Mika Mocha Ba'eli Madonai, ni kamocha nedar ba'kodesh, nora tehilot ose fele. Yai 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 yai. I walk in the light, 
I woke through the darkest hours of night And I called on my sisters to my left and my right To walk with me, to walk I walk in the spirit, I walk in the light I walk through the darkest hours of night And I call on my ancestors to my left and my right To walk with me, to walk with me I walk in the spirit, I walk in the light I walk with the knowledge that we'll be alright And I call on my ancestors Shalom, friends. I want to share with you some thoughts that will help us to carry this day and what it means. This uh, has been such an unusual, difficult time with the tensions and the awakenings that are taking place out in the world, with being sheltered at home, with dealing with an incredibly partisan time. And one of the ways that we've coped with this in my household is my wife, Ilana, has come up with a new family project. We are raising caterpillars. And I want to think about those caterpillars because they've touched my heart and I hope they'll touch yours too. We find them on little leaves. They, they lay their eggs, hundreds of eggs, and we find them they're the size of a pinprint. And we take those eggs and we shelter them in what we call the nursery at home, these uh, leaves that are laid out. And when the caterpillar hatches, it's so tiny you can barely see it. And we put it outside in a protective tent and it eats and it eats and it eats and it grows to about 2,000 times its original size. And then it crawls up to the very roof or right under a leaf and it spins a web of silk around its feet and then it melts into a cocoon. The thing is it doesn't make a cocoon, it becomes its own cocoon. And then it liquefies inside that cocoon and it becomes this gorgeous, beautiful piece of jewelry, light, creamy green with beautiful gold specks. And then it waits for about 10 days. And it looks like nothing's happening, but in fact, inside everything is happening. This liquid that was a caterpillar is becoming a beautiful butterfly. And after about 10 days, it emerges and it comes out and it comes out weak and shriveled and it takes some time in the sunlight for its wings to expand to their full size. It just sits there and it flutters open and closed as it wakes up to being a butterfly. And I think, friends, that that's what we are doing too. It looks so frustrating to be stuck inside our house, to be separated from each other, and it is, it's painful. But we're not doing nothing right now. We are preparing ourselves to emerge ready to soar, 
to be vibrant and colorful and alive and to make the world more beautiful with our own transformations. So Rosh Hashanah is a day to think about who we want to become. What do we want to be? Because the day is coming when we will emerge once again. We will embrace each other. We will hug each other. We will transform the world again. We will stand in the light of justice. Can we be like those little cocoons, those little butterflies? Can we do the preparation now, the inner work now, to do the transformation that awaits us so that we also will be resplendent and beautiful and sore? We all have it in us. That little caterpillar who becomes a cocoon, who becomes a butterfly, has never been one before. It wakes up a butterfly and it has everything it needs inside to go be out there in the world. We also, you also, you have everything you need. It's right there. It's inside. Anytime you need to access it, there it is. So trust what you already are. Trust what you already have and use this day to feel that love and to be able to do the work, the inner work, the hard work, to be able to spread your wings one day soon, to be able to shine your beauty out into the world, to be able to fly high as we are all ready to do. Shana Tova. I couldn't help but have these thoughts. That's Shani Zamir. Shani's been with us for six years at the Pico Union Project, and she's still with us. But she's at home with us in San Diego because four weeks ago, she had a little bundle of joy, a little baby girl named Joy with her husband, Dotan. And you're about to see a video that is to help you be present. It was created with photos by Bill Aaron, who is also not here, but he's here with us virtually online and his photographs are here with us. When we stand for the Amidah, the standing prayer, we say Elohe Avraham Yitzchak V'Yaakov, that we stand here not just alone, but on the shoulders of people who came before us. We stand here with Sarah, Rivka, Rachel, and Leah, that we are all here as one community. We stand and we sing, Adonai Svatai Tiftach, please may our lips speak 
great songs and psalms of praise. Wherever you are, wherever you are standing, invite somebody to stand next to you. Close your eyes for a minute, join me. Adonai.
Shana Tova. For our Torah reading this morning, we read the story of Avraham Avinu, Abraham, our father. Years ago, on actually three separate occasions, I had the privilege of living in Jerusalem. And at the park where I used to play basketball was one of my favorite signs I ever saw in the entire city. This park is for all the children of Abraham. And the sign was written in Hebrew, the sign was written in English, and the sign was written in Arabic. You see, the story that we read today, it might even be puzzling as to why are we reading this story on Rosh Hashanah, the beginning of the Jewish year? Why don't we read the story of the creation of the world, the wonders of everything? But instead we tell a story of a person, a man with a spouse, a father. We tell the story of conflict, of love, of troubles between father and son, between husband and wife. It's the most human story possible. And on this Jewish holiday, Rosh Hashanah, when we celebrate the world, we also celebrate our uniqueness as Jews. And every other Jewish holiday celebrates a massive Jewish event in history, but not this one. This time, we celebrate universalism. We celebrate the fact that we're a part of a much larger whole. But what's special about Rosh Hashanah is that we get to take the particularism of being Jewish and apply that to our celebration of everything that we have. And so we read the story of Abraham, of Abraham, a man who argues against God, God's self, against injustice. A man who leaves behind the old stories and inadequate ways of worship and faith of his father and his father's generation. A man who leads with courage of conviction even when he's not sure of what that path is. Because that's the journey of faith. And that's what we're doing here, together. Shana Tova. Hello, my name is Quinn Lohman. I was born in Los Angeles and raised in Los Angeles, California. Well, I have autism. Mm -hmm. It's like a disability where your brain, where, that, where your brain doesn't work the same as everyone else. I had a bar mitzvah, I took class, and I, and I learned Torah trope. So uh, I've been reading Torah at uh, Pico Union for uh, I think five years now. My wish for the New Year's is for coronavirus to end. Arhu et Adonai Hamvora. Baruch Adonai Hamvorach Le'olam Ba'ed. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Asher Bachar Banu Mikol HaAmim V'nahatan Lanu Et Torato Baruch Ata Adonai Noten HaTorah Amen Amen V'adonai Pachad Et Sarach Asher Amar Bayas Adonai the Sarah Kasher di Beher Vatar Vatelet Sarah Leavraham Bain Liskunav Lamo Ed Asher di Ber Oto Elohim By Kravraham Et Shem Beno Hanolad Lo Asher Yaldalo Sarah Itak Vayamol Avraham at Itak Beno Bain Shmonat Yamim Kasher Siva Oto Elohim. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Asher Natan Lanu Torah Demet 
v'chayehe olaham nata betochenu baruch ata Adonai noten haTorah. I dedicate this song of healing to my to my sister who had COVID early on in March, to her daughter who is a nurse, to my niece who is a doctor right now at the Veterans Administration here in Los Angeles, to all of the healers, to all those people who have stepped up in the last six months and who always step up. You have a unique gene in your body. There's something incredible about your ability to heal. And for you, we are grateful. Mi shebeirach avoteinu Avraham Yitzchak v'Yaakov Sarah Rivka Rachel v'Leia hu yivarech v'irape et ha'cholim if you have somebody in your prayers right now, somebody that you want to convey blessings of healing and hope, please, if you're online, type in the note section the name of that person. Mi shebeirach avoteinu Avraham Yitzchak Yaakov Sarah Rivka Rachel Velea Uyivarech Virape Et Hacholim Elna Rufa Elna Rifa Nala Elna Rifa Avoteinu Avraham Yitzchak Yaakov Sarah Rivka Rachel Velea Uyivarech Virape Et ha we return, we return, we return, we return. We return, return again. We return, we return, we return, we return, we return, we return again and again to love.
Sometimes the very best tool we can use in deciding and choosing who we want to be in the coming year. Sometimes the best tool we can use is thinking about not who we want to be, but who we ought to be. And what I like to do is take a moment to think about someone who is not here in this room with me, but who ought to be. And I think about if they were here, which version of me would they want to see? Try it with me. Close your eyes. And think of someone for whom you have a great amount of respect. Someone you would want to see you living and being your best self. Someone who would be proud of the person you ought to be. Bring them here to this room and ask yourself, 
What would you like that person to see in you? There's your pathway. There's your answer. Sometimes all we have to do is listen. Shana Tova, everyone. Aleinu l'shabach l'adon ha'kol, l'tet gedula l'yotzer b'reshit, sh'lo asanu k'goye ha'ratzot, v'lo samanu k'mishpachot ha'adama, sh'lo sam chelkenu k'ahem, v'gor alenu k'chol ha'monam, v'anachnu k'orim, ומשתחווים ומודים לפני מלך מלכי המלכים הקדוש ברוך הוא שהוא נוטה שמיים ויוסד הארץ ומושב יקרו בשמיים עם הארץ ושכינת עוזו ושכינת עוזו וגר הם מרומים הוא אלוהינו אין עוד אם את מלכנו את בזולתו, כך כתוב בתורתו, וידעת היום, וידעת היום, ושבות אל לבבך. כי אדוני הוא האלוהים, והשמיים ממעל, והארץ והארץ מתחת אין עוד. ונאמר, והיה אדוני למלך על כל הארץ, ביום ההוא, ביום ההוא, יהיה אדוני אחד, ושמו, ושמו, ושמו אחד. שנה טובה, אברואן. Shani, stay there. Can you bring Shani back on, Karen? Is she still there? Yes, I'm here. Shani, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Okay, I just want to say to you and, and Dotan. Yes, sir. And, and Joy. I mean, see the Aleinu, it's on us, you say. Aleinu l'shabeach. It's on us to rise and to raise up. And may you and Dotan... Have all the strength and all the blessings. May God bless you and keep you. May God's grace shine upon you and your beautiful family. Thank you very much. In peace. Shalom. 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 Dotan, you never say anything. You must have something you want to say. Behind the scenes. Yeah, I'm behind the scene person. So uh, she's the star. I always give her the, the, the light. <laughs> yeah, but even stars have gravity that pulls them in and out. So, Dotan, 
Yes. What's your blessing to your star? My blessing is to be happy as we are at the moment with having our first newborn. And uh, this is the most powerful, exciting, beautiful experience we ever had and me personally. And I wish everybody from our community and outside as well to have a beautiful year and to enjoy life and stay healthy and to be able to pass this crucial and crazy times together, invest time in your family and build relationship within, and then to go out more healthy. Yeah. Amen. We love you. Thank you so much. You. All neutral. Okay. <laughs> so Brad, I think Rabbi, Rabbi Artson, you're next. This is how, come on, that's a pretty kind of cool thing, no? For what a new a year. Beautiful, beautiful. Yeah. As we reflect upon the beauty of new life at the beginning of a new year. <clears throat> and of course, Craig, we also take the memories that have come up to this moment and that lead us to this moment. So I want to invite all of us, uh, as we're about to recite the Mourner's Kaddish, to just think together, gather your thoughts around your loved ones, the ones for whom you want to say Kaddish, the ones whose memory will carry you into this new year stronger and more resilient and the best version of ourselves. And of course, all of us are thinking today of one of our contemporary heroes, the United States Supreme Court Justice, Ruth Bader Ginsburg. So let's also hold her in our heart. She was such a warrior for justice and, and we now have to take on her struggle and be able to carry it into the future together. So those of you who can join with me those of you who would like to, just feel free to say Amen. Yitgadal v'yitgadash shemei rabba. Amen. Alba divrach yirutei v'yamlich malchutei. V'chayachon uv'yomechon uv'chayei d'chol beit Yisrael. Ba'agala uv'izman kariv v'yamru Amen. Amen. Yehei shemei rabba mevarach le'alam ol almei almaya. Yitbarach v'yishtabach v'yitpa'ar v'yitramam v'yitnasei. Vayit Hadar, Vayit Ale, Vayit Halal, Shemay de Kudsha Brihu, Laela, Laela, Miko Birchata, Vishirata, Tush Bechata, Venechamata, Damiran, the Alma, Vimru, Amen. Amen. Yehe Shlama Rabba Min Shemaya, Vachaim Tovim, Alenu, Velko Yisrael, Vimru, Amen. O se Shalom, Vimromav, Hu Ya se Shalom, Alenu, Velko Yisrael, Amen. May their memories Amen. lift us and sustain us and strengthen us for the days ahead. Berosh Hashana Yichatevun, Biyom Som Kippur Yichatemun. This is a video of that text performed by Cantor Alberto Mizrahi, who's not here, and Tihal Forsberg in a language that most people don't recognize as being the third most spoken language or communicated language in America. Today it is written, tomorrow on Yom Kippur, in 10 days, it will be sealed.
All right, so there we are, huh? There we are. Three and here points. I am. <laughs> and there you are, that's right. I was vamping, I was trying to make it sound so seamless that, uh, yes. where is, where is Stewie? There is, you know, there, uh, there is no seamless. I, I, you know, so many emotions, so much to say, and so little time to say it. Um, forgive me, Rabbi, if I bring in a sports reference. You know, sometimes in the sports world, uh, a record or a season is denoted by an asterisk. He hit the most home runs, but uh, it was a season that was shortened by a strike or something like that. I know there's a tendency for us all to want to put an asterisk on this year, but I would wager that there are no asterisks in the book of life. <laughs> and, uh-oh, you're muted. We can't hear Sorry. you, Brad. Sorry. There oh, you I are. Think... There you are. There you are. Are there asterisks in the book of life, Rabbi? So there are so many beautiful asterisks, and thank you, Stu, for that powerful image. You know, it, it, in, the, in the ancient sport of life, we are all of us standing on the shoulders of our ancestors, those who've come before us, those who've seen something in us, a spark, and they've lifted it up and they've helped us to see it in ourselves. So as we go from last year into what I pray for all of us is a much better, more beautiful year, a year of justice, a year of harmony, a year of spirit and expansiveness, a year of generosity. Let's be lifted up by all of the energy that has come into us from the past, all those who have loved us and seen the light in us, and let us be the ones who see the light in each other and who make that light glisten and shine. That's awesome. I can't help uh, all through this service. In the back of my mind is the song from the Broadway musical Rent, Seasons of Love, where they talk about 525,600 minutes and how do you measure a year. Um, there's going to be a, a, a desire on some of our parts to measure this year by the calamities we've faced and the technical difficulties we've had, rather than, as the song says, measuring them in daylights and sunsets and midnights and cups of coffee and measuring in love. And if I could jump in and just celebrate this community, this wonderful sanctuary of Pico Union, where everybody is seen and everybody is celebrated. And we saw that in the service. This is a service that's made better and more beautiful because we all have a place in it. We all have a place in each other's hearts. Yes. Craig, our responsibilities in these days of awe are teshuva, tefillah, and sadaka. And I know you're a, you're a sadaka guy. <laughs> um, and we depend upon you for that leadership in the Sadaka area. Would you share something about how we can make real, keep it real with our Sadaka, as opposed to it just being something we recite? Yeah, well, our, our theme is words to action. That's our loose overall theme for these holidays. And, you know, if, if today it's written, so today is a time for words, and there are times for words, and God knows most people talk more than they should. And my Aunt Ruth used to say, you know, it would probably be a good thing that we look at our anatomy and say, we have two ears and one mouth. Let's listen twice as much Stogel. as we talk. So I think in the 10 days, what I would encourage people to do is how to take one thing that they could move to action. In my case, it, that one thing, if I may be candid, I think is to be less active, less action, less charitable with my time to others and more charitable to my time to me. And as I spoke those words, it dawned on me that I think I said that like two or three years ago in this very room. And every year there's another, another chance to, to work on that, but that would be mine. That's beautiful. Well, I want to say in closing, um, Rabbi, you've blessed us with your wisdom and your knowledge and your presence. And we thank you for that, for enriching the lives of all the people who have attended. Craig, we thank you for being the spark plug of our faith community and for continuing to work to bring us all together. 
And for me, I, I just want to close by saying, in in turning words to action, you know, in my work, what I always tell people is, don't wait to be picked. Don't wait to be given this promotion or this title, etc. Don't wait to be picked. Pick yourself. So I would leave you with this idea that instead of waiting to be blessed, instead of hoping to be blessed, bless yourself. Bless yourself in word. Bless yourself in action. Measure the coming year in midnights, in sunsets, in cups of coffee, in laughter, in strife, and in love. May you all be blessed with another year of a beautiful life. We appreciate your patience with the technical. And we will rebroadcast. You will get a note at the end of this. We will rebroadcast and hopefully capture some of the, well, what we anticipated to be a thousand families, homes, to join us later this afternoon. Um, Stuart, love you. You are my blessing. Rabbi Artson and, and the Luperts and Scott Wessel and Quinn Lohan and, and, and my sister. me and Valerie. Valerie, yeah. So we are the blessing. Amen. Shana Tova. Shana Tova. May we Amen. 
Der am Seenu Hayom, der war Heinu Hayom, der Gad Leinu. Ah, Amen. Hayom Tidre Sheinu, Letova, Hayom Tichteveinu, Lechaim Tovim, Hayom Tishma, Shavateinu. Amen. Te am seinu hayom, te vacheinu hayom, te gadleinu. Amen. Hayom te kabel berachamim uvratzon et tefilateinu. Hayom titmecheinu bimin sitkecha. Amen. Te am seinu hayom, te varcheinu hayom, te gadleinu amen. Hayom, hayom. Te am seinu hayom, hayom. Te varcheinu hayom, hayom. Te gadleinu amen.